I know y'all been waiting on part three and it's finally here. This is the 1500 mile review of the Von Traeger Aeolus Pro 51s. Let's get to it. Rolling and when they are flipping, they look so freaking nice, man. And these are a hundred. What's up? What's going on? Welcome back to the channel, man. I had an outstanding ride today. And as you see from the opening clip, boy, I hit 1500 miles on this wheel set, which has prompted me to do the part three, right? So these are the wheels in question. These are the Bontrager Aeolus Pro 51. And man, I have a whole lot to talk about when in regards to this wheel. And I got a little list in front of me to kind of make sure I stay on track and I don't miss anything, right? So the review says 1,500 miles, but to be exact, I have 1,515 miles on these wheels, man. And real quick, if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel, like the video, or if you want to get some dialogue going, please drop a comment below. But getting deeper into this, right? Dude, I got a part one video, and my part one video goes full into detail as to why I got this wheel, how I set it up, and all that good stuff. That video has over 7,000 views. If you haven't seen it, check it out. You could be 7,001, man. Check that video out because it goes real in depth as to how I got these wheels set up, right? I purchased these wheels used. I bought these wheels on March 27th, 2022. I almost had these wheels for an entire year. And in that time, like I said, I put 1,515 miles on it, right? Some more context with this wheel. The way I have them set up, I have the Durace uh, 160 rotors and I have the DT Swiss hub with the 54 two star ratchet system. The entire time that I had these wheels, I didn't always have them in this configuration. And when I say this configuration, I'm talking about the tires and the tube setup, right? The whole time that I've had these wheels, I've ran these with uh, 28s. I ran them with 30s. I ran them with 32s. I ran them with regular tubes. I ran them with the Conti Race 28 tubes, and I ran them tube lifts. In regards to tires, I ran the Victoria Corsa Graphene 2.0s. I ran the Victoria Corsa Next. I ran the Eagle, the Goodyear Eagle F1s. I've ran the GP 5000s, and I think the in the MV SES tire. So I ran a bunch of different tires. I run a bunch of different tubes, and I've ran this tubeless and with latex tubes, right? So, man, it's a lot, right? The current setup, the way I have it right now, I am running the Silka latex tubes with the Victoria Corsa Graphene 2.0 32s, right? And then also. Silka has this, uh, I don't know if you can see it. It's got like a speed shield that kind of hides the, there you go, that hides the valve stem. And I really like that. So I'm running the um, extenders for the, to clear the entire rim. Then I got the speed shield on there with it. And the extender is kind of like an anodized red color. And even though my bike is like orange and black, I just love the way that red looks with the contrast with the decals of the tires and the setup is it's pretty clean, man, so I, I really like it, right? So let's get more into depth with this review, right? And what you wanna know, I'm gonna tell you the pros and I'm gonna tell you the cons, right? And we're gonna start off with the bad stuff. Let's talk about the cons of this wheel. That's it, bro, that's all, that's all I got, right? I really have nothing bad to say about the wheel, man. The wheel is... Great, man. I really got, z I actually have zero complaints about this wheel, man. And that's, that's kind of crazy to say, but I absolutely mean that the wheel has been outstanding, outstanding wheel. Let's talk about the pros, the things that I really, really like about this wheel set, right? The number one thing, price. I bought my wheels used. I got a crazy good deal on them. I got the wheel. The wheel came with the rotor. And even if I paid full price for them, I still would not complain. Bang for buck. This is a great deal. If you are looking for these wheels, I would highly suggest if you can find them used, then you win them. And you can't go wrong with, with the used set, right? 
So the price is on point. The next thing I really liked about this, another pro, is the hubs. I love the DT Swiss hubs. And the DT Swiss is a serviceable uh, hub. And it also gives you room for upgrade. Because when I got my wheel set, I want to say it had the... Um, the 18 tooth uh, star ratchet system in there and then I upgraded to the 54 and like I said I talk more about that in the first video and then I go into depth as far as which what they what the different ones do between the 18 the 36 and the 54 and the different hub sounds it makes because all that played a factor into why I set it up like that right So that's one thing that I really like about the wheel. Another thing that I liked about the wheel is the internal width, bro. The internal width. These things is wide, man. The internal width on these wheels is 25 mil. I will have to say that I think this is probably one of the widest internal width wheels on the market. Because when I was looking for wheels, I really wanted the zips. And as you can see, I went out and got me some zip decals, right? I really wanted the zips but the zips didn't have the internal width that I wanted. And then for the price point, this kind of took care of everything. And then for me to get some decals and put it on there, most people think these zip wheels anyway, but the 25 internal width, it just gives you so many options as far as tires that you want to run and then being able to run it tubeless and the tire pressure and everything. I mean, like I said, the way I got it set up with the 32 mil uh, tires, the latex tube, dude, I'm running 60 PSI and it's, it's a dream, man. It's a dream. Really like the internal width. Another thing, the construction of the wheel, the way they designed this wheel, man, is on point because I was kind of worried about how I was going to handle in the wind. It handles so well in the wind, I don't even think about it. That was like a big concern. I was just wondering how I was going to handle I don't even think about it. When it's windy outside, I feel the wind more on me than feeling the wind through the bike, you know? And there's a lot of times, you know, I sit up and I ride without no hands and... I don't even worry about the wheels at all. They handle great in the wind. I really, really like that about the wheel, right? Another thing is the ride feel. The ride feel is great, man. And I think it's a combination of the tire, of the tube, and then also with that 54 tooth, because when you are smashing on the acceleration, the 54 tooth just goes, man. But overall, the wheel is great, man. Like I said, I cannot complain. I have zero complaints about this wheel, right? Like I said, I bought mine used. They came with the rotors. And when I found these in the price the guy was selling them for, I almost didn't believe it, man. I was hitting the guy up and I was like, yo, why are you selling them and why are you selling them for this price? And he was like, well, you know, I'm ready to move on and I already got something else. So, you know, I had to, I had to upgrade. And I was like, when you say something else, did you get another brand or what? He said the only reason he was selling these wheels because he went to the RSLs, right? So in the Trek, in the Aeolus lineup, there's there's three sets of wheels. You got, I want to say it's called the Comp. And the Comp is like the entry-level carbon. And then you have the Pro, which is the second tier. And then the RSL is like the top tier. It's the lightest, it's the stiffest. And it even looks different because on the Comps and on the Pros, it's kind of like a, like a matte finish. But on the RSL, it's kind of like a, um, it's like a gloss, like a high shine on the carbon. It looks, it looks really good. So I was like, hey man, you know, your, your loss is my gain. And I bought the wheels and it was, it was great, man. Like I said, I, dude, I really can't say nothing bad about these wheels. I really, really love these wheels. But despite how much I really like these wheels, I, I think it's, uh, I think it's time to say, goodbye to him, man. And I know you're probably thinking like, you know, so, so what's next? And, um, you know what? Hold on. Just hold on just a second. Hold on. A few moments later. Do you know what this is? This is the Bontrager Aeolus RSL 51s. This is that next level. Dude, 
I love the Pro 51 so much. I said, dude, I got to get the RSLs. I got to get the RSLs. Are they that much better? And uh, we're going to find out, bro. We're going to I'm so excited about these wheels. And I'm going to set them up the same way. I'm going to do the Silka Latex Tubes. I'm going to do the 32 Victoria Corsas. Uh, I'm going to do the Silka Speed Shield. And, man, if you could just see how these look, it's got like a nice gloss to it man a high shine oh man they look so freaking good bro and like i said the initial wheel that i wanted was the zip and i put the zip decals on um my pro 51s but i found a company that special makes uh some other decals and i, I can't front and i can't stunt on bond trigger anymore i got some custom bond trigger decals for this wheel set and they're like a white and an orange that match my bike and man they're going to be so dope and to be honest that's the last thing i'm waiting on man i wanted to hit 1500 miles so i could do the review the part three and i've been waiting on my decals and once my decals come i could put them on the wheels and i could put these on the bike man and i got like a, a side clip that i'm gonna put up so you can kind of see in detail how good these wheels look but, dude, when they are rolling and when they are flipping, they look so freaking nice, man. And these are 180 grams lighter than the Pros. And they're supposed to be that much stiffer and that much faster. But we will see, man. But I appreciate y'all hanging out with me. As stated, this is the Bontrager Aeolus Pro 51 Part 3. This concludes the series. But... The Aeolus RSL 51 review is coming soon, man. It's coming soon. Oh, my goodness. That's all I got for y'all, bro. I'm out.